Aquatic Invasive Species Monitoring, or AIS monitoring, is important to catch these species early before they cause significant problems. Early populations of invasive species require far less money and effort to manage. It is important to note that some aquatic invasive species may be problematic in some lakes and not in others. Since we can't say for sure whether an invasive species will cause problems in a given lake, it's best to prevent any of these species from arriving in our lakes in the first place. The next best thing is to catch a new population early so that it can be quickly removed or monitored. You can find a list of the known AIS in your lake by visiting the DNR website at dnr.wi.gov. Click the magnifying glass in the upper right and type aquatic invasive into the search box. Then click the search button. Now click on Aquatic Invasive Species Efforts, and then in the right sidebar, click Lakes and Rivers with Aquatic Invasives. Choose your county from the drop-down list and then find your lake. All known aquatic invasive species will be listed next to your lake name. AIS monitoring is best done on calm, sunny days between June and September. Cloudy or windy days are okay too when monitoring for shoreline plants, and winds can actually be helpful as they blow plant fragments and empty shells onto shore. If you have polarized sunglasses, these can be very helpful for seeing more clearly into the water. Before you begin monitoring for AIS, you'll want to review some identification resources to familiarize yourself with the species you're looking for. Our Early Detector Handbook and AIS Fact Sheets on the Citizen Lake Monitoring Network website are a great start. There is also a variety of other helpful publications available through the Extension Lakes online bookstore. Although AIS monitoring is commonly done from boats, it is also effective to look for many species by simply walking on shore or in shallow water, especially when done near a boat landing. The first step is to identify the public boundaries of your monitoring site, and then select five equally spaced locations between those boundaries to sample. If you are monitoring a narrow access point less than 20 feet wide, you only need to use three sites, one on each side and one in the middle. Start at each of your five sites by simply scanning the area around you. Look for shoreline plants, shells or plants washed up on shore, crayfish peeking out from under rocks, and plants growing in the shallow water. Do this for at least 30 seconds at each site. If you find a suspicious plant or animal, use your early detector handbook to help identify it. Then put it into a plastic bag with a label. Plastic bags, waterproof labels, and a pencil are provided in your AIS monitoring kit. After scanning your site, toss your sampling rake out into the water twice at each site. Make sure you hold or stand on the orange spool so that it doesn't get pulled into the water. Pull the rake back in slowly along the lake bottom and examine the plants and animals you collected. Repeat this for your five monitoring sites. Don't forget to scan around you at each site. If you are too focused on throwing the rake, you may miss something that is right in front of you. After sampling all of your sites, please take a photograph of each suspected invasive species next to its label. Place the plant or animal on a contrasting background in bright, even light if possible. Please make sure that all of the information on your label is included in the photograph. These photographs should be sent to your local Aquatic Invasive Species Coordinator. If you don't know who this person is, visit the DNR website and type AIS Coordinator into the search box. If you are monitoring from a boat, zigzag back and forth across the shallow area of the lake. Look for fragments of invasive plants floating on the surface, or rooted plants growing up from the lake bottom. Also look for snails and zebra mussels that may be attached to submerged branches, rocks, or plants. And keep an eye on the shoreline for purple loosestrife, phragmites, or other invasives growing along the shore.
Use your early detector handbook and other resources to help you identify anything that may be invasive. Stop at five locations around the lake to toss or drop your sampling rig. Focus on high-risk areas like inlets, outlets, boat landings, peninsulas, and areas of dense aquatic plants. Drag your rake along the bottom for several feet and examine the plants that get stuck on the rake. If possible, try to keep the rake over the water to make it easier to clean your boat afterward. If you find a suspicious plant or animal, collect a sample in a plastic bag. Please record the location as precisely as possible using a map or a GPS unit if you have one. Some cell phones and fish finders can also give you GPS coordinates. When you're finished monitoring, please complete your AIS monitoring datasheet, making sure to fill in as much information as possible. You may monitor your lake and not find any AIS. This is wonderful news and we would love to hear these results. Reports of monitoring without finding any AIS are just as important to us as reports that you did find something. Please fill out the AIS monitoring form and enter the data into the SWIMS database whether you found any invasives or not. Thank you so much for volunteering as part of the Wisconsin Citizen Lake Monitoring Network. Your hard work allows lake managers and scientists to detect and manage aquatic invasive species more efficiently and more effectively. If you have any questions about aquatic invasive species monitoring, contact your local aquatic invasive species coordinator or the statewide educator for the Citizen Lake Monitoring Network.